Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Cayenne and I make videos related to my faith, lifestyle, and general advice videos. So I would love to have you stick around. So be sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and let's get into it. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about my biggest struggles with being a Christian. And I think I have about five that I want to share. Um, and this is not to complain. I just want to be super honest and vulnerable about what I struggle with. And this is going to look different for everybody, depending on how you were brought up or what struggles you've faced in the world. Um, but I wanted to share kind of what I struggle with. and what has been challenging in my walk with God. So that is what today's video is gonna be about. It's kind of a spare of the moment video. I'm in the process of moving. Um, and then, I don't know, this last week has been, just been crazy busy. Uh, I had to fly home for literally 28 hours back to Illinois for my grandma's funeral because she just passed away. Um, so I got to be with my family for that, but then my parents, and me had to fly back right away because my baptism was July 1st. With that being said, I just want to say excuse me for like the informalness. I'm just chilling on my bed and honestly a lot of videos over the next few weeks will be similar to this, just super casual. Um, I have no more furniture left in my room besides my bed so I don't have any fancy setup. And yeah, my life is just kind of all over the place so this is what we're working with. So bear with me. Thank you. Okay, let's get into the video. Okay, so I would say personally, my biggest, one of my biggest struggles with being a Christian is worldly views slash shows and influences. Um, and what I mean is being a Christian is like being the odd one out. Um, I didn't really realize um, how different it was and the different type of lifestyle it entailed until I was here. And when I go to watch certain shows now, I'm like, this doesn't really align with how I view life. And so it is kind of difficult to find entertainment that is quality, um, but also feeds my soul. Uh, so I think that is a big struggle and something I think we definitely need to change and that's why I'm so happy to come on YouTube and make these videos is because there's not really a lot of options out there. There's really not that much entertainment for Christians. I've been getting into a lot more Christian music lately which has been awesome but as far as like shows and that kind of thing that are genuinely good, let's just be honest, like that are actually entertaining. Um, it is hard to find and it is really easy to just fall back into worldly things because it's really normal. I think it's very normal now in today's society for us to see sex a lot in movies and shows, to see cheating or moving in with your significant other prior to marriage. All of this stuff has become such a normal thing in the world. It's almost viewed as weird not to do it now so I don't know that's just a big struggle that I've noticed is I obviously want to be filling my brain with positive things that are going to bring me closer to God and influence me in a positive way and that has been really hard to find so I don't know if you guys can relate to that if you can and you have found great forms of entertainment or good YouTubers that I should watch, let me know. Um, but that is definitely one of my struggles. Okay, so the second thing I struggle with as a Christian is lust. And I never really knew what lust was prior to becoming a Christian. Um, no one really talks about it that much. But um, now that I am, I can definitely see how some of my feelings are very impulsive and I think that's how I would describe lust like lust is like an impulsive feeling like basing things off of impulsive feelings rather than taking the time to get to know someone um, because I see this like I see somebody I like that they're talking about God I like what they look like and it's easy for me to be like ooh, husband maybe possibly boyfriend next guy I don't know 
and that's a struggle because God tells us not to lust um, and I've noticed that just these little impulsive takeovers are a form of lust and that's something I definitely don't want to fall into because I think lust definitely ends up leading to settling for what we really want. Um, I'm going to just Google the definition of lust because I am very curious. So they describe it as a very strong sexual desire. Having a very strong sexual desire for someone. Um, but then some cinema, some cinema, <laughs> some synonyms are to wish for, long for, yearn for, hunger for, thirst for, ache for. So I think more in a in my circumstances, it's more of that, like I'm thirsting for something or yearning or longing for something, not necessarily like a sexual, like I want to get in your pants kind of thing, but more of like I am thirsting for some kind of relationship, which we will cover all in my single diaries videos. If you haven't watched them, go check them out. I just talk about all relationship and going through singleness and those. So if you guys want an update on that, uh, my next video should be coming out after this one, I think, um, giving you an update on what my status is with that. But yeah, that's definitely something I struggle with as a Christian. The third thing that I struggle with is consistency and just dying to myself and being selfless. It can be hard, like the consistency of like reading my Bible and even when I don't feel like passionate or like I, even if I don't have the feelings to do it it's hard to get past those sometimes and do it anyways um so that's something i definitely want to continue to work on and just i don't know a lot of times i feel like i act out of passion and i want to have that passion but you know some days it's just not there or some days you feel further and that's okay but it's just working through those times and not letting those days turns to turning into weeks or months um that's when it becomes a little bit more unhealthy so that's something i definitely struggle with just having that consistency on reading or even praying is tough for me um i definitely think i just need to embrace prayer more i've seen the power of prayer and it is so amazing and that's something i really want to connect more with and that's something that I'm struggling with. But all I can do is pray that God asks me and supports me in it. And I know he will show up. So. so the next thing I struggle with is criticism. But not just any criticism. It is criticism from other Christians. And I never was really faced with this until my testimony video started getting a lot of more views. And I had a lot of, it drew a lot of religious people to my channel and I started getting all these comments um, but a lot of people would then go to my other video I mean they would criticize me on that one most were positive but then from there they would go to my other videos and start criticizing me on those and this is something I really struggled with um, I didn't understand it and I was very hurt by it um, for like a day I, I got over it pretty quickly um, but it really does frustrate me that Christians um, feel like they have the right to tell other people what to do or to judge them. Like it says in the Bible, we're not supposed to judge others. And I think Christians need to be better about trusting God to convict his followers and personal, like, friendships and family members to hold that person accountable in their faith. It's not necessarily your place to be criticizing a stranger on the internet. For one, I don't know you. Um, most of you, I, it's just like a username. I don't know what you live like. I don't know what your actions are at, like on the daily business, on the daily. So I just don't think it's our place to ever like criticize people or leave mean comments um, about what they should or should not be doing. I think it's great to leave verses for someone to reflect on, but at the end of the day, you need to trust God to convict them because that's not our job. Um, and it's also 
I mean, if this person has some great strong support around them, those things will be discussed within like this more intimate like place with people I trust. Um, so yeah, that has been a struggle is just getting criticism. Honestly, if I'm being honest, I delete a lot of it um, because I just don't want that to be on my channel and I don't want people um, who are just getting started in their faith to see all these people criticizing and be discouraged <sighs> because that's like a whole nother thing. It's like this battlefield of people all trying to convict each other and that's not our place. It really isn't. That's God's place. It is not my job to convict anyone. So that's just been like a really hard struggle, not just for me, but it creates just this toxic back and forth of all these people criticizing and convicting, trying to convict each other in the name of the Holy Spirit. And that is like, if there is a sentence with God in it, I better not be judging or talking badly or meanly about someone because that is not right. And that's not what God wants us to do. People who don't believe, I think it's almost easier for me to just be like, oh, whatever. Like, um, they don't know any better. They don't have the Holy Spirit in them. They don't have the extra love to give. But to see it from um, people who say they're Christians, it's a little bit, a little bit tougher to receive. I think I've been doing a good job of like shutting it off and setting boundaries on what I let affect me. But that is something I struggle with. And the fifth thing is um, an expectation for perfection. Um, I mean, sometimes I put it on myself. Like I expect like to be perfect in reading my Bible every day and I think I do this in other areas as well so it might just be a personality thing but just this expectation that Christians are supposed to be perfect like who Jesus is the only person who has never sinned like so the fact that everyone wants to hold us to the standard of perfection like obviously I strive to be like Jesus but I think this expectation for, for, for perfection just separates people and it, it enables people to criticize others when they mess up or they make a mistake and I just don't think that's healthy <laughs> to be perfect is just out of this world it is literally the expectation expectation to be like jesus is out of this world and god knew we could not attain that and that's why jesus came um so i know i'm gonna mess up and i just have to be okay with messing up and being human and i know other people are gonna mess up and make mistakes i think that all kind of leads into like perfectionism is like criticism and perfectionism like if we just accepted that nobody's perfect, as Hannah Montana would say, then I think we would be a lot more loving. If we just accepted people for them and their mistakes, we would be able to love people a lot easier. But I think a lot of us want to point out other people's mistakes so we don't feel as guilty. Anytime I criticize others, it's probably because I'm insecure about something I'm doing. And that just came to me now, so I'm gonna go reflect on that. I mean, I also believe everything's a mirror. Everything is a mirror. So if I'm criticizing others, it is probably a reflection of how I view myself or my relationship with God or my relationship with others. So, yes that is another struggle with being a christian is expecting everything to be perfect expecting myself to be perfect but also other people expecting me to be perfect i don't want that i don't want that expectation and i think that is why god makes it so clear not to idolize anybody or anything um, because he knows all of these worldly idols are going to fail us and i've said this before in videos like i never want anyone to idolize me no thanks. Idolize Jesus, idolize God, but don't idolize me or any other person in this world. Your boyfriend, your husband, your friend, your best friend, a YouTuber, a celebrity, 
none of those people are perfect and they are eventually going to mess up. And so I think it's so important not to idolize anybody. And this is just turning into a rant instead of what I'm struggling with. I'm just like pouring in some advice at the end of this. Um, so yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I just wanted to come on here and catch up with you guys because I feel like I haven't filmed in quite a while. So it was so nice just getting to chat. Um, I will try to get this uploaded ASAP. So whenever you see this, it should be pretty soon after. My baptism video should be done um, pretty soon. Uh, I will definitely be uploading it when it's ready. So I'm so excited for you to see it. So it might be the next video you see, or it might be in a couple videos, but I'm so excited for you guys to see it. It was such a special day. Um, and I'm so excited. Me. All right, well, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications if you want to be one of the first to know when I post, because sometimes I'm not good about sharing y'all. Oh, go follow me on Instagram because I am way more active on there. That's where I ask you guys for video recommendations. I take polls, and you can really see more of my personality and what I'm up to on my day to day. I'll have it all linked below. I hope you all have a beautiful day. I love you so much.